Hey everybody, it's TR. Been a little slow with the content lately. Gotta get it in gear. <laughs> Okay, so the purpose of this is not to review this lovely guitar. We could review it, but lots of parts have been swapped out and replaced, and it wouldn't really be a valid review of the actual guitar. I'm here to tell you what's wrong with it and why you should really think twice before you buy it. Okay, um, this is a Squire Contemporary, and I think it's called an R, an RH for real humbucker in the bridge and regular humbucker in the neck, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's got some very nice features, and it plays really, really good, and it's a great value, except there's just one flaw in the manufacturer that might make you not want to buy it. Um, okay, let's start about the good. Um, these tuners. Tuners here. They are super, super, super good for being on a Squire. I've never seen tuners this good on a Squire. Um, pop you back in there. The old uh, split shaft even. They're smooth. Um, what I'd like to point out is the uh, bushings, the little uh, washers on there. Yeah, double metal bushings. They work good. A roasted maple neck. Trying new things here today. Roasted maple neck. That's pretty good. It's a 12 inch radius. Um, jumbo frets. Nice C profile, very comfortable, plays, plays really good. I really like it. Comes with, as I mentioned, regular humbucker and a real humbucker the size of a tele pickup. Um, I've replaced that in mine, that's why I can't really review that. Um, I've replaced the tone pots. Um, haven't replaced the switch. It is a box switch. I don't like box switches. Uh, put these little dice knobs on there. And I put a Duncan um, Hot Rails for Tele pickup on there. I digress. This is not the reason for this video. The reason for this video is that. I paid 430 for this. They're going up, up, up. It was on sale. They're normally running about 470, and now they're going up to like 530. Okay, it shouldn't hum like a bastard for 530 bucks, but this did, and there's a reason why. Um, back over here to this camera. This lovely black finish on this bridge. Um, folks, that's paint. Um, doesn't conduct electricity. Now, the way guitars work, for those not familiar, is they need to be grounded. They ground to the bridge so that when you touch the saddles, the strings, whatever, you act as a ground, you complete the loop, and it doesn't make the humming noise. Well, the finish on this is non-conductive. Okay, I'm going to show you that in a second. It doesn't conduct electricity. So I had to do some work on this to make it conduct. You're spending $500 on a guitar. You shouldn't be having to do work on it to make it conduct. Am I right or am I right? Um, as I said, love the guitar. Plays beautiful, looks cool as hell. So, 
allow me, if I may, to demonstrate our failure to communicate here, our lack of conduction. Multimeter, set the test for continuity. Touch the ends together, you get zero. Don't touch them together, you don't get a reading. Now if I put this on this bridge somewhere, and somewhere else on this paint, they should conduct. They don't. Um, what, what did I do to fix the problem? Well, I'll show you in just a sec here. You unplug this. I had to do a little paint scraping. We had to remove a little paint from her. So I took, took the whole bridge off. Um, wire from that's grounded to the electronics is usually right under the bridge. Took the bridge off, scrape the paint off that. Okay, I'm good there. Now I got to get the electricity to the strings. I was lucky. Um, these little grub screws that adjust the up and down for the saddles were conductive. I reused those. Now I could have scraped paint off the saddles where the strings contact them. Uh, it came with a set of lovely black saddles that match this. But I had these spare um, brushed metal looking saddles and I thought they really looked cool against the black. So I just put those on. Now underneath where each of these little screws is, I had to take a knife, scrape the paint so I could get some conduction. Now, if I conduct on the common side of the jack, which would be where the, the, um, the sleeve part of your um, guitar plug would go. That is this part right in here. That's, that's going to be the ground side, okay? So if I touch here, and if I touch the bridge, nothing because it's not conductive. But if I touch the saddles now, it conducts. But in order to get that to do that, I had to be scraping paint off and putting new parts on my brand new freaking guitar. That black is, looks cool, looks real cool, but it needs to do more than look cool, it needs to work. Now, I work on my guitars and I have fun doing that and as I mentioned, I replaced a lot of parts and I don't mind doing this because I intend to do stuff to them anyways, right? But that shouldn't be. I'm going to show you what should be. Okay. Here's a Guitar Center Special Jackson. Of course, it's even more special after I got my hands on it, but that's a discussion for another day. Um, actually, lower price point. This thing brand new is about $370, $380. They will put them on sale for less. I bought this used for $229. This is the Lowly Floyd Rose Special Bridge. This is what the black metal that they make these things out of should be like. I'll touch here, I'll touch here, and if you look at my meter, you'll see it goes to zero, indicating continuity. This is what the bridge should have been made of. I'm not sure what this coating process on these is, but I'm pretty sure it's more expensive than the simple paint that's on the Squire. Now, whoever, it Fender, Squire, whatever, in some office boardroom somewhere thought that was a great idea. Well, it wasn't. It was a shitty idea. Anyhow, that's why I wanted to do that video show you that this super super cool guitar has shit wrong with it that's all there is to it there's i mean it's beautiful pearl finish it's a little on the heavy side but you know most of these squires are it's not any heavier than my other squire telly i have my 50s um classic vibe i love the thing and uh with the noise suppression on, if you use the noise suppression, you kind of don't notice the hum. You can kind of hear it breaking through. 
But boy, plug it into a real amp and you'll find out in a hurry. And uh, I just think people should know. I've got my mess here. I think people should know that's a thing before they buy that. And uh, Squire should have fixed it. And shame on you, Squire. I'm sure some engineer person or something pointed out, hey, you know, this is going to be a problem. And they're like, oh, well, we've already got them made. Send them out. They'll never notice. That's low end. That's not professionals buying those. They won't notice. Yeah, well, we're not as stupid as you think we are. And we might notice. And um, I did. And now that I fixed it, I love the guitar. But not everybody's going to do this stuff to them like I do. And somebody's going to buy that brand new. And they're going to be very disappointed. And it's a shame because it could have been avoided. And making that part out of metal that's coated like the Jackson here is or any of my other guitars with black hardware are. Um, let, let me say the only time I've ever encountered that before was on an $80 kit guitar from China. Uh, it was on a trem on it that was called the Overlord of Music trem. That's bullshit that is. That shouldn't happen. And um, I just want you to know that. So TRL. <laughs>